This is Siracata Siracata, but most people just call them meerkats. Meerkats live in large families called gangs, although they're probably the least intimidating gang you will ever see. I mean, look at them. They're so cute and cuddly. Though they may look cute and cuddly to you and me, to a bug they are the most intimidating thing on the Kalahari. These little monsters have to eat 5% of their body weight every day to survive. That, that's a lot of bugs. Because they need to consume so much food, the majority of their time is spent foraging for more bugs to devour. Delightful. But foraging has its own risks. The more time spent in the open, the more time the tables will be turned on these little guys. And Meerkat could become someone else's lunch. Because so many things want to eat these little buggers, the meerkats came up with an ingenious way to defend the group from predators. But Stuart, what are you doing? You're supposed to be doing a job right now. I know the scorpion looks delicious, but no, you're supposed to be doing a job for the video. We talked about this, Stuart. During foraging, meerkats post sentries, like Stuart here, to watch over the group and keep everyone safe and allow them to forage in peace. If a predator, like this hawk here, is spotted by Stuart, then he will give out a call to get the group's attention. If the hawk continues to close distance and become a bigger threat, then a high urgency call will be let out. This is basically the meerkat equivalent of an incoming nuke, so if you're not underground, you're going to die. Like this little guy here. He doesn't stand a chance against that hawk. Look at it, it's massive. Should have listened to these guys. They're alive. In total, the meerkat has six distinct warning calls that can tell if a predator is in the air, on the ground, and how much danger that predator represents. This alarm system is highly complex for the animal kingdom because it is referential, telling what type of predator it is, and risk-based, telling how much threat that predator represents. Now you might be thinking, why would a meerkat do this? They don't get any food when they are sentries. Doesn't seem very advantageous to me. I would just forage all the time. This is why, if you were a meerkat, all of the other meerkats would hate you and allow you to get eaten. The major benefits of being a sentry are entirely social. Meerkats can rise fast through the ranks by being sentries more often. And you don't get eaten when it's your turn to forage. It's like a giant, I scratch your back, you scratch my back, but if you don't get your back scratched, you get the equivalent of a meerkat to me, which is being eaten by a hawk. It's a good thing that meerkats came up with this alarm system. It allows us to spend more time looking at these cute, adorable creatures. Thank you for watching our video.